Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today I want to talk to you about a few of the most intriguing upcoming releases for the rest of 2017. I can't profess to keep my ear to the ground of the publishing world. I don't always know what's coming out, but every once in a while I browse through upcoming releases just to get an idea of where my money's gonna go. And I was doing that recently for books that'll be wrapping up 2017 for us. And I want to talk to you about some of the books that I found the most intriguing. And I have five books that really piqued my interest and each piqued my interest for a different reason. And I can't necessarily say that these are books I'm going to buy because a lot of them or some of them are very outside of my normal reading tastes, but they definitely have some elements that make them sound so interesting to me that who knows, I might, I might have to run out and pick them up. Here we go. The first book that I wanna to talk to you about is called Long Way Down, and this is by Jason Reynolds. It is set to release on October 24th of 2017, and it is the story of Will, whose brother was murdered and Will has decided to exact revenge for his brother's death. So he takes his brother's gun and he, and he gets onto the elevator in order to carry out this vengeance. And on each floor, as the elevator descends, a different person enters the elevator and it sort of reminds me of a of a Christmas Carol where you know he's not really encountering actual people he's he's pretty much encountering like you know ghosts or entities it's kind of like ghosts of brothers past or whatever and these these different entities are either you know reminding him of the past and and of elements and events that made him who he is or they're informing him of things about his brother's murder that he may not have known that weren't that obvious. And the point is that by the time the elevator reaches the bottom, that he will have kind of rethought whether or not he wants to kill someone in his brother's name. And this book was intriguing to me. The reason was the storyline. I think it sounds really fascinating and I think it's a really it sounds really important or the next book that's going to make us think about some of the serious and 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 crucial things going on in our world today uh, what intrigues me is that I feel like this book is going to start an important dialogue I don't know what gives me that impression <laughs> I just that's the feeling that I got from from reading about it Again, it's Long Way Down by Jason Reynolds, and it comes out on October 24th, so check that one out. The second one, I actually have a copy of this now, thanks to Second and Charles, a.k.a. Books A Million. The second one intrigues me because of the author, and this is Uncommon Type by Tom Hanks. Yes, that Tom Hanks. Turns out the actor is not just an actor or a producer he's actually a gifted writer and this book is a collection of short stories written by him and as soon as I saw it I was excited about it I think because Tom Hanks is sort of an iconic movie star for me I'm past the point of liking movie stars just because they're cute or just because you know they look good with their shirt off I mostly now appreciate character and I feel like Tom Hanks has a lot of character and so I saw this and was immediately intrigued and immediately wanted to see what kind of writing chops Tom Hanks actually has and then second and Charles aka books a million was nice enough to send me the advanced readers copy which isn't something I requested it was just a fluke and a coincidence but they sent it to me and I was already excited about it. So I can't actually, I can't wait to read it. It is the one on this list that I promise that I, I will read. And this one is actually coming out pretty soon. It's October 17th of 2017. The next book coming out soon that I found intriguing 
is Artemis. And this book is by Andy Weir. And it is set to release on November 14th, 2017. Andy Weir, if, if in case you don't know, he is the author of The Martian. So he's got a new book coming out. The reason that I found it intriguing is because it is a hard science fiction novel with a female protagonist. So the female protagonist is the intriguing part of this book. I'm super excited because hard science fiction is still male dominated and that's okay. You know, it's okay for things to be male dominated. I'm not exactly saying that things have to be female dominated, but in this case, I'm really excited about it because I think that Andy Weir will write a female protagonist in a hard science fiction novel very successfully and just ab about the story she is a criminal living in the first city on the moon so i think it sounds exciting and you know i really do want to read it i just don't know when i'm going to read it obviously not until after november 14th because that's when it comes out <laughs> okay so the next book on this list literally blows my mind and it is intriguing to me because it is a bold ass move and that is the book year of one by nora roberts and this is going to be the first book in a new series of books by nora roberts now here's the thing i'm pretty sure that regardless of what sort of books you read that the name nora roberts or the mere sight of one of nora roberts's books kind of you know, it, it's associated and obvious that she is a romance novelist. That's what Nora Roberts has written. Even when she's writing under another name, J.D. Robb, books by J.D. Robb are a little bit more edgy, but they still have some pretty front and center romance going on. So that's what I associate with Nora Roberts is romance. Now here's the thing, Year of One, by Nora Roberts is a science fiction dystopian novel. Immediately intrigued. Immediately. And I'm not even a Nora Roberts reader, really. I'm just intrigued because I know that this is, or at least I'm unaware <laughs> that she's done this type of thing before and that she's doing it under the name Nora Roberts because she's no stranger to publishing under a pseudonym. She's had wild success as J.D. Robb as well as Nora Roberts. To see her name on a science fiction dystopia novel was shocking to me. Shocking and intriguing. I don't know. I don't know what to do with this information. I don't really know what to think. I don't know if I, if I wanna read it. If I'm way off base here and Nora Roberts has been doing science fiction novels for a long time and I've been living in a cave, somebody please tell me, but I'm pretty sure this is new. <laughs> this is new for her, I think. Lastly is a book that I'm intrigued by because of the title. It caught my eye immediately. The book is called, What Does This Button Do? <laughs> An autobiography. Okay, so it sounds hilarious in a, in a, in a self-deprecating kind of way. I'm all about self-deprecating humor, just <laughs> throwing that out there. And what does this button do? An autobiography, really, that's truly what it sounds like to me. Turns out, yes, it has an intriguing title, but I'm even more intrigued to find out that this is the autobiography of the lead singer of Iron Maiden, Bruce Dickinson, was the lead singer of Iron Maiden way back when, and there was a little six year gap where he wasn't, and now he's the lead singer of Iron Maiden still. And so he has written an autobiography, a memoir, whatever you wanna call it, about his life, not only in the band, but also the other things that he's done. Apparently he's not only a singer and a songwriter, but also like into aviation and into, I mean, just, all kinds of things that this little metalhead is like, huh, interesting. This is very interesting. The blurb promises really interesting factual stories about his life and also a really great humor. And <laughs> the title sounded funny, the book sounded funny. And it's just a bonus that it is written by a guy in a heavy metal band. Like, 
That's kind of my thing. But those are just five books that are coming out at the end of 2017 that really have piqued my interest and that I'm really considering buying and reading as soon as they come out. So let me know what you think. Also let me know what book or books you're looking forward to at the end of 2017 because maybe I overlooked something. Maybe there's something that I might be more intrigued by than these. So let me know. I'm interested to hear about what you guys are excited to read. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you all very soon.